Hi guys, welcome to another weekend of my life vlog. I'm so dehydrated, oh my gosh, I have not been drinking water at all. Like my hydro flask was in my office for four days without me. Anyways, welcome back to another vlog. I'm really, really excited to be vlogging. So today, it's like Saturday at 5 p.m. and this is when I'm starting my weekend of my life vlog. I stayed at my mom's in the suburbs the past like two days, I wanna say. Um, so I'm back home, I showered, I shaved, I self tanned, I did all of it. I helped my brother clean his room today and I laughed and I felt so gross. So now I feel so much better. Anyways, I came home to a lot of packages. Tomorrow is so exciting because my Ikea stuff arrives. So I'm gonna have my other mirror to go back in my old mirror spot and then stuff for my pantry. Cause I haven't had a pantry, like a big pantry in a while. All my food has like been back there and I just been cooking too much and I have too much stuff now to not have a real pantry. And then, yeah, some stuff for the dentist come in that I'm going to set up. I think my dad is gonna come over and help me with a bunch of stuff. I just put some tanner on, so I feel crazy. I've been using Savon Ayla's um, Lux Unfiltered Self Tanner. It is the best one I've ever used in my entire life. Like, oh my gosh. Also, I just had Smoothie King delivered via DoorDash. I'll have a link down below and you guys can use it for $15 credit so you guys can get a free Smoothie King smoothie. Um, but I got two, I don't know which one's which, because what is that supposed to mean? Because it's like $10 free delivery, so I either pay for delivery or I just get another smoothie. I don't know which one I got. Okay, wait. This one? This one is more tropical, and I normally get the angel food. These are literally bigger than my head. Um, and I thought I was going to cook tonight, but like I'm not going to be hungry. <gasps> they didn't give me straws. I just feel like this is going to taste really weird with a metal straw, but it is what it is, you know? Okay, I'm enjoying it. Alright, so... And then Monday is Memorial Day. Anyways, um, this weekend is a very big progress weekend as far as the house goes, so I'm really excited. I have a few things to unbox. I bought this shirt from Upper Room um, a few weeks ago, celebrating their like, oh my gosh. I think it's their 10 year anniversary or something. This shirt is really cool. Okay, so anyways, it's like the most creative church ever. So that's the back, which is really cool. I like how it's kind of boxy. And then this is the front. Yeah, this shirt is really cool. I'm a really big fan. This with some sweats, some Air Force One, so easy, really cute. Oh yeah, okay, Beauty Counter sent me some stuff, which I'm really excited for. So this is a cleansing oil. I really need a new cleanser. I'm almost out of my Sonia Dakar one. These are eye cooling masks, which is really cool. Lip conditioner, which I desperately need. And then a sugar body scrub. So these are all things that I really need um, and I'm very excited about. Even Upper Room's packaging is so cool. I have a package from Dr. Brandt. I have more packages actually downstairs for the garage, but we're not gonna do that today. Oh, that's a one. That's a really cute bag and I love that color. We got a few, oh gosh, we got a few things. Okay, the first thing is a pore refiner primer. Then we have a little mini of the microdermabration. I don't know, I can't talk. Aluminizer primer, I love aluminizer primers. And then a vacuum cleaner, a pore purifying mask. So this bag is super cute, I'm excited for this. Okay, so anyways, I am gonna make buffalo chicken stuffed spaghetti squash, which I'm really excited for. I used to make the buffalo chicken and sweet potatoes all the time and those are so good and this is like a healthier alternative. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have a really chill night. I've just been loving relaxing. I had so much work this week, I think I recorded like eight episodes, like so much stuff. And then I just had so much stuff on top of that. So I really only vlogged like one day last week just because I was like swarmed with stuff. That's why I went to my mom's because I was like, I need to just like chill. And I slept so much and I feel so good. So this is gonna be a very refreshing weekend, but I'm really excited. Um, I think I'm gonna watch some YouTubers, some, I don't know. I started Real Housewives of Dallas actually um, at my mom's. But I don't have that login on this TV. I have someone else's login on, so I gotta figure that out. I am exhausted and it's only 6 p.m. I think I actually am gonna cook tonight, so I need to get up and start on that. All right, so I'm making um, buffalo chicken stuffed spaghetti squash. So we just have celery, green onions, chicken, spaghetti squash. Um, it said red bell pepper, but that wasn't an option. And then I just have some buffalo sauce and then I got some Primal Kitchen ranch dressing. I've been loving Primal Kitchen lately and just trying out new stuff, but this is obviously like a healthier option. I'm actually gonna um, cook this on my TikTok, which I will show you guys once I post it. But my TikTok is just conceals with hay. So if you guys want to go back to this later and it's a lot easier, you guys can just find it on my TikTok. Coco, do you need something? I feel like a mom, my teenage daughter, is upstairs crying. Oh my gosh. All right guys, I finished. It looks incredible, it smells so good. It took me a little under an hour. It's 
pretty easy. Um, this is like a Whole30 recipe that I loosely followed. Obviously, I probably couldn't have Primal Kitchen. I mean, I don't know. I don't and, or my buffalo sauce. I don't know what Whole30 is approved. Okay, I'm so sorry. But anyways, looks so good. I'm so excited. It's on my TikTok, Kenzie Elizabeth Hay. Okay, it's 8 p.m. on a Saturday night. I'm going to lay in bed and read. This is like my favorite time in my room. Um, and then hopefully go to bed by like 10. So my favorite author duo, Liz Constantine, their two sisters, um, came out with another book. They were the authors of The Last of Us Parish and The Last Time I Saw You. Um, now The Wife Stalker and like the other two I literally read in like one setting in this one I'm having a hard time getting into. But sometimes with thrillers, it really happens like mid book and then you're absolutely obsessed with it and it's the best thing you've ever read. I need to read more of this and just get into it because I'm just like, oh my gosh. Good morning guys, it's Sunday morning, I just woke up. I am so tired. It's 9.30, I slept in a little bit and I'm actually about to go on a run, which I really have about negative interest in doing. I do not feel like going on a run, um, but I need to. So that's what we're gonna go do. Um, also, look at my tan. I mean, okay, here's the problem guys. Like my hands, we're trying our best. I burned myself, it's fine, I'm fine. Um, it is so hard for me to like make my hands not look crazy. Also, like my hands are just so pale in comparison to the rest of my body. Give me all of your tips on self-tanning with hands. But I mean, this is like a gradual tanner. It's not even, I guess it is self-tanning, but you know what I mean? It's like a little bit different. Anyways, I'm gonna change and get ready for my run. Oh my gosh, you know what? Oh my gosh, I just remembered I had that Smoothie King smoothie for after my run. So that's gonna make my run go by a lot faster. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing my run today. Um, normally I wear like a hoodie or something over it, but it's been getting actually hot in Texas. Um, the sports bra is Nike and these shorts are Outdoor Voices. I talked to my first time wearing them. And I'm already obsessed with them. Like they're very flattering. They're very comfortable. Um, they're just great. So I love them. All right. So here's my outfit: Outdoor Voices, Nike, and then my shoes are Adidas. Um, Coco and her bedhead, guys. It's always something. Anyways, I'm gonna go on this run and then come back and have my smoothie. Okay, my dad and my one of my dogs is here. Um, oh my gosh, guys, we have a real life labradoodle in my house right now. Very exciting, but really into the sweatshirt trend. I forget where these are from, but I'll have them linked down below. Throw on a tank top. Oh my gosh. I'm like, for some reason, out of breath. Um, great run. I'm going to have my smoothie, and then we're going to organize or get started on the den and setting that up. I don't know why I'm out of breath. And then at some point today, before three, Ikea is dropping off a new mirror. Stuff for my, um, a few things for the like, mom's lake house and then um, my pantry. This thing is really a wreck. This thing is so crammed with random stuff. It's just gonna be a big transformation. Like, this is what it was before and then we're gonna be so organized. It's actually not gonna take that long to like organize this, but it's gonna feel great. Also, I got these in the mail. Um, now this is how you know people over at your house. Everything's all over the counters. Um, it's Hustle Matcha Energy in the peach flavor. Apparently peach is the best. Um, the Ayla sent this to me and she said that she likes peach the best. So I'm really excited to try these out. I want to have a cute little fridge either in my office or the den with like fun drinks like this. And like I love recess CBD drinks. Those are the best drinks ever. Um, I need to actually get some of those. We're in the den. We decided that we wanted to move this couch back this way and then have the projector on that. Hopefully the projector, I don't even know what size it is honestly. For some reason this feels so much bigger. Um, anyways, we put the gym mat back here and the Lululemon mat the projector will go this way I don't know where my chairs and Wayfair are and I still need to get a coffee table I'll probably order one and then my laundry machines and stuff. I'm gonna order um, Tomorrow because Memorial Day sales, but yeah need to set up the actual um, Projector screen Coco girl you look crazy Okay, the projector screen is actually incredible. This is only like $100 on Amazon. I'll have everything linked down below, um, but very impressed. All right, guys, so we just opened the garage door and there's natural lighting, it looks so much better. So I moved my workout thing here, which is great because I can watch Melissa Wood Health via the projector. Um, the couch looks a lot better in person, I think, than it does on camera, but the couch is huge. Um, my projector, I was kind of messing around with that and playing with it. It's obvious, I need an extension cord. It's gonna be kind of a little bit of a mess, but it's actually really great. And then I have my screen set up here. I have this random white table that I took from my office just to use for like random things. I don't know what that is on the floor. Um, a speaker, 
my dad i might use his bar thing if we want on that wall um which would be good for entertaining but like i don't really drink much so um we'll see and yeah it looks really cute we need a rug the two chairs are arriving this thursday i thought it was last thursday and it's so cozy like when you turn the lights off and you put the projector on it is incredible so anyways gonna go upstairs and get started on organizing the pantry i'm gonna try one of these hustle matcha energy drinks the ones that i just got in the mail um it looks really cute i'll do a little taste test but we started clearing out my pantry I always say like, but like it's such a mess Like there's just dog food like randomly and yeah, the shelves are coming today and everything will be so beautiful. I cannot wait. This really is one of the most fun weekends of the year normally. Yeah. Tragic. Okay. Are you eating the white cheddar Tuesdays? Those are the best. I always have those for Cody. Okay. Oh, this actually tastes really good. I was expecting to not like these. No, it's actually like really good. All right, so I've cleaned all of this out. We're just waiting for Ikea to drop stuff off. I have things all over right now. I just got this package from Allbirds. They sent me some running shoes, which is actually great because I don't have any. And I normally think all running shoes are like pretty ugly, but I actually kind of like these. Like I'm actually a fan. So very exciting. So everything is looking a lot better. I am actually like deathly afraid of lighting matches for some reason. Like. I always make everyone else do it. So I have my siblings matches from the candle that um, they sent me. It's super cute. You can like make your own candle, but they do it in a way that like it's put together for you. It's really easy, um, but it's like just better and it's awesome. And I have the candle upstairs, but here we go with this match. This actually like just, I don't know why it stresses me out so bad. And I also can't do it. Oh my gosh, I did it. Dad, can you believe that? Oh, well, I didn't like this because this needs to be cut. Okay, one more time. Wow. Uh, very proud of myself. I don't know if this can even. All right, so this is what we're looking at. Um, the Ikea stuff just got dropped off. I have a lot downstairs that is my mom's there. Um, shipping was like $50, so we just put one order in together. So she has a bunch of stuff for her, I think, one of the lake houses. I think it's for the lake house. I don't even know. Anyways, I mean, literally, you guys don't care. Um, but I also have this for the print in my room, which I'm not sure how that's gonna work now that I'm looking at it, but we're gonna figure it out. I also really wanna be mature and get like nine of these and do a you know, black and white photo type thing in my house. I have a very specific vibe and I would actually love to have that somewhere. So we'll see. But anyways, I have these. This is what I got by the way from Ikea for any of you who care. Um, I also thought I got more baskets. Maybe they're downstairs. Also, like, why did I think these were a good idea? Like, I have to assemble them. You've gotta be joking. So anyways, I'm gonna actually try to watch normal people on Hulu as I do this. I tried to watch it, like, very recently. I tried to watch it very recently and I just, like, wasn't really into it. Also, I don't know if I've said this in a vlog. Yeah, I have. I finished Nashville. Oh my gosh, guys, that one really got me. So, anyways, we're gonna watch normal people and try to figure it out. For some reason, the characters were just like annoying me. I think I was just like in a mood that day. I don't know. It's always weird. Oh, here we go. It's always weird when you read the book first. Anyways, I'm gonna watch this because I loved the book. It was really incredible. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's a very, oh my gosh. It's like a really realistic book, like a very realistic romance situation that I think everyone's been in, kind of, um, or can relate to in some way, so it's really good. Guys, I just realized that after legit seven weeks of waiting for these packages, they sent me the wrong size um, clear baskets for organization in the fridge or in the pantry. So I'm gonna do the best that I can do and then just figure it out. I don't know, maybe I can find some stuff on Amazon. Um, but yeah. Really unfortunate. Yeah, so obviously very unfortunate, but we're gonna have to figure that out. So I'm gonna set everything up and see how it looks. Okay, I'm realizing now, I definitely only meant to order two of these because we measured, but I ordered this so long ago that I was just confused. And they gave me four, so I have two extra ones that I need to go return. Um, my whole order is messed up, which makes me wonder if it was on my end or there, and like obviously not a big deal, but I'm like, did I really think I needed four of these? Um, cause we like measured and did all this stuff, but yes, this is so nice. I'm eventually going to get stuff like built up out there, built out up there. Is what I meant to say, um, it sucks that only four of my little storage container things are here. I'm going to build them right now. Um, now I wish that I would have gotten more. I have four plastic ones downstairs. 
um, but they're like really big and not this size. So that was also a mistake, which is fine. So I'm just gonna do this and then eventually start moving my food over, which is very exciting. For lunch, I'm just having leftovers. It's perfect and gloomy. I'm just in the best mood as I'm organizing this. I've built two boxes. These are not the easiest things to build only because the holes are in like the wrong spot. It's, I mean, it's literally Ikea. What do you expect? Update, I actually like normal people a lot better than I did the first time. I only gave it like 30 minutes the first time, but I really like it. All right, guys, just made these four bins. Feeling very good about it. I have all of this food and then all of this food and most of this is pasta. Guys, the problem is that it's just way too tall for me. So then I forget what's even up there and then I don't see it. And then I like buy 15 of the same things. And we just have a lot of stuff here. So much pasta. Um, so that's a mess. And then over here, I'm going to start organizing now. Okay, guys. This is absolutely incredible. This is so much better than what it was before. Um, so obviously, I'm missing some boxes. So this is not end-all be-all. I just have things together. Also, can we talk about how much pasta I have? Like this right here. And then two of these boxes are pasta. That's rice. But... Anyways, we have a lot of stuff just going on here over here I have like my baking box and then just some random like baking stuff and pancakes and just like, you know, not as healthy stuff and then um, Alcohol um, Dave's bread and then I just have some drinks down there and then some kind of like junk food and stuff that I normally keep from when my brother comes um, Then I have my pasta the sauces and stuff down there oatmeal cans peanut butter rice pasta as you guys saw so I love this. Seriously, it is just making my entire life. We're gonna build out up there um, whenever, you know, we can do that and stuff, but wow. It just like feels so good to be able to see what I have. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better. Guys, and I just realized that the frame came like this. So this is really, truly tragic. I've been waiting so long for this frame. Like, ugh, this is so annoying. All right, guys, very exciting things. So this is obviously where my OG mirror was. You can see by the black on my white, newly painted wall. Um, and I moved that mirror into my bedroom because I liked how it made my bedroom feel, but I always wanted a mirror out here as well. So now I just have two very close to each other, but I just feel like the mirror being out here also gave this part of the house so much life and was just really great. So anyways, I'm going to set this up. I get asked about where this mirror is from all the time. Honestly, guys, it's from Ikea. It's $130. I think this is probably like my seventh of these that I've purchased between all my apartments and houses and stuff. Like I have had this mirror since I was in like middle school, probably middle school, high school. Like we had so many in our old house where like if any of you guys are watching um, my junior year of high school, my sister and I had like the whole bottom floor. That thing was so cool. That was like the best house ever. Um, we had so many there and then I have two in my house. I'm actually gonna order more for my gym I actually saw that Remy just did that and my dad was telling me I should do it and then I loved how it looked for her So now I'm set. So anyways, um, I'll try to see the name of it Here we are back to this. I love this and I love this background better for Instagram photos I know that's so annoying. I'm sorry, but um, yeah, it just feels great having a mirror right here and I'm really excited So it's from Ikea Okay, so this is going to end up being a lot of trash just for the boxes. Um, so I'm actually going to take out all these new products and put them in my little new products bin to start using. Um, I'm really excited. I'm actually going to put these up here so I can start using them quicker. Oh, this face cleanser looks really pretty. So I'm going to put this here because mine is almost out. So I'm definitely going to need more. But yeah, a body scrub, just what I need. It's Yeah, I definitely need that for self-tanning. Another primer, which looks awesome. And then beauty counters, lip balm, which we know how I feel about lip balm. So I'm really excited about this. I'm going to go ahead and take all this trash downstairs because it was just on the dresser in my bedroom and it's unnecessary clutter. So I have a place for makeup bags, which I'm gonna put this here and then put these in my to try basket in my bathroom. Oh, so I'm gonna have to go through that and make sure I'm trying out all of those products. This is getting messy, but it's okay. I decided to go ahead and frame this anyways and then I'm just gonna cover that with black paint because it just took so long to get here that I'm not even willing to deal. Also like, I don't know, the frame is just in like not great quality and normally I like Ikea frames. like. A lot of those over there are Ikea frames, so I don't understand. But anyways, I'm obsessed with this print. That goes in, this goes in my room. Um, so I'll, I'll hang it above the chair. I a pantry. So guys, here I am just editing my out. TikTok. From Ikea. I'm already somehow in episode 7 of Normal People, but it's just been playing all day, and it's already 6 p.m. 
I'm doing some fun Memorial Day shopping, guys. I'm getting a washer and a dryer finally. Um, yes, I have already bought them. Um, it was a nightmare. I, it, long story short, got refunded, I think, finally. But yeah, I'm ordering some new ones, which will be very exciting. Okay, I'm also getting a rug for downstairs. Um, I'm debating even going up a size on this, but I feel like at the same time, this is enough because I don't want it to be too big to where I can't like use the space for other things. This coffee table is literally on sale for $100. Um, and then I just got this lamp set for my nightstand. So this is gonna go in the den. Um, I might actually change the coffee table. I'm not really quite sure yet, but I'm excited. Okay, I finished Normal People. Guys, I'm so impressed with myself that I actually finished a show in a day. It is 8 p.m. I've been doing a lot of Memorial Day sale shopping for my house. Honestly, I've been waiting to buy stuff that I just like didn't feel like spending money on. Um, and then I just made my first TikTok of the DIN transformation, guys. I'm really into TikTok right now. It's actually been a lot of fun. So anyways, I'm going to post this. And then I actually got a new book that I think I'm going to start reading also. Here we are with our white cheddar Cheez-Its. Guys, this is the best thing that's ever hit YouTube. I have to be honest. Like I actually just cry. I cannot get over how great this color scheme is coming along. That looks incredible and that will look beautiful there when I have someone who can help me hang. I'm actually gonna look to see right now in Society6 what they have for these frames just because I really would like to get that done. That TV is broken so I replaced it today as well. Um, those slippers need to go and I just gotta figure it out. So. Yeah, I'm gonna look at that. Um, I actually got a new book, which I want to show you. I finished The White Stalker last night. I don't think I said this in a vlog. I stayed up and finished the entire thing. Um, I just like their other books better. I didn't, like, I just, like, honestly didn't love this book. I don't know if I just wasn't in the mood for a thriller like this or what, but it was not my favorite, but, like, The Last Mrs. Parish and, um... Why am I forgetting the other one? The last time I saw you are two of my favorite books. So anyways, I got one day in December because Margot and Lauren said to. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm really excited. I'm going to start this tonight. Let me show you the cover. There we go. I'm pumped. Hey, everyone. It is actually pouring outside. I wish I could show you guys more because it doesn't. This does not do it justice, but it's pouring. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday. Um, my cuticles get dry so easily and like quickly. So I have this cuticle balm that I've been applying that I need to be better about. Anyways, it's like 9 a.m. It's Monday morning, actually. It's Memorial Day, though. Um, it is pouring, like I said. Like, oh my gosh. And it's supposed to pour all week. And obviously, I have to keep up running. So... Um, I normally don't run every day. I'm just catching up on this week's runs just because I missed like two of them Which is pretty bad because there's three but it was because of like weather and stuff So I'm thinking it was because of weather and then I was at my mom's house Um, but my dad has a treadmill so and he lives like really close to me So I'm gonna go over there and run. I, I just like don't know what we're gonna do this week if it's pouring rain the entire time because I guess Alyssa and I just can't run together because we're gonna have to do treadmills like really something so today it's just gonna be a chilly at home I was hoping I could have like a fun memorial day on my rooftop but like obviously that can't happen so um, I think Batty Trap's gonna come over later today and then we're gonna watch movies on the projector downstairs so I need to get an extension cord at my dad's house and I think that's pretty much it I also probably need to order groceries today um, and figure out what I'm cooking for the week. I thought I was gonna be at the lake this week, but we're going next week now, so my days are all out of whack, guys. Oh my gosh, guess what? Okay, so Daylight, we all know Daylight. If you guys watched my vlogs when I lived in LA and how much I loved her, um, my favorite Pilates instructor ever, she texted me and asked me if I wanted to do like a live IGTV Pilates class with her, which would be like amazing. So if any of you guys come, um, please come. It'll be on my Instagram, Kenzie Elizabeth. It's gonna be Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Central. So obviously it's free, but um, obviously like Dayla's not making money right now. So I'll have her Venmo and stuff for those of you who can send a little money because that would be really kind and great. But um, yeah, I'm ready to go. This is what I'm wearing, Lulu, Lulu. This jacket is brandy. A lot of people ask me this. I've literally worn this for the- I've had one of these for the past, like, year. It's the best jacket ever. I'm pretty sure that Walmart has really good ones like this, too, though. 
um, from what I've seen on TikTok. Guys, I woke up and I spent 30 minutes on TikTok this morning. I'm not kidding. Um, oh my gosh, guys. Look at that. There she is. There she is. So anyways, I'm going to go and go to the workout on the treadmill. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Guys, I don't think we've had a car shot in the vlogs in so long. Where are you guys at um, quarantine-wise? Like, are you going crazy? Are you adjusted to your new routine? Are you, like, ready to go? How are you feeling? Wait, let me make sure I have my AirPods. Because if not, I will lose my mind. I do. Thank God. Part of me is, like, totally adjusted to my new life and, like, stressed out. I don't even think part of me. I think most of me. Like, I'm more stressed out for when quarantine ends than I am. Which, like, here it's lifted and, like... We're going back to normal stuff, and I'm pretty sure we're at 50% capacity. I mean, I haven't gone out and done anything because I don't trust anyone. I just saw a video of, like, of the Ozarks where, like, there's so many people in this pool, and I'm just like, oh, my God, no thank you. Like, I'm okay with having a group gathering, like, a very small group gathering at my house now with other people who have been quarantined. And, like, Texas, a lot of places have been allowing that for a while now, I think. But, like, I don't want to go to a restaurant or anything. You know what I mean? Also, on the topic of working out, I actually think I've become a at-home workout person. You save so much time. You get to choose everything. Like, I'll still go to, like, certain classes in Dallas that I love weekly. But, like, as far as my everyday workouts, I actually think I'm going to be, like, an at-home workout girl. Which is really weird, you know? Alright, I just did my 30 minutes um, of running. It was week two, day three. I'm, like, drenched in this garage. Um... So they have like a little gym set up. They're working on like reorganizing the garage and stuff. Also, very Texas. That's not two refrigerators. That's a fridge and that is a freezer. Unreal. With a freezer. Um, anyways, I just finished. So we're done. Good to go. I feel great. Guys, I'm actually like fully ready. Showered, dried my hair, put it through the air wrap, and then I messed it up with my bad hairspray. So I just have like messy, loose waves. I did my makeup, slight makeup, not much. And I'm wearing a real outfit because I have to send photos in to a brand. I'm working with Bumble on an Instagram photo. So I have to do that stuff. And then I'm going to go straight back into my sweatpants. Cannot wait. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go finish this stuff. And then I'm going to go downstairs. I think I actually am going to try to start Adder Banks. Maddie Trap's supposed to be coming over later, um, and I need to figure out what I'm doing for food. But today is Memorial Day. It is a day off. I'm going to chill and relax, and I really want to go watch stuff in my new den. So that's the plan. It is still pouring outside, though, right now, guys. Like, it's really bad. Okay, guys. Propeller hat. Literally, again, I need someone to make an edit of my vlogs of how many times it looks like I have a propeller hat on with these fans. Anyways, guys, I just did my hair with the air wrap, and, like, I really like it, but I feel like when I first do it, it looks amazing and it falls out immediately. And like, I could just not be using a good hairspray too. Um, I really like how it looks now, but I just wish that it stayed how it, how it was at first forever. Like I see everyone else's hair stays when I watch tutorials and mine just doesn't. And I don't understand, but I love the air wrap. Like 10 out of 10 would recommend. Anyways, um, I changed into sweats. I'm wearing, oh my gosh, guys, look at this shirt. Okay, it's upper room. It's literally the coolest shirt ever. I just got it in the mail. I ordered it a few weeks ago. Um, Upper Rooms of Church. They have like the best worship music you'll ever hear. Literally ever. Um, it's actually in Dallas, but I got this for the like 10 year anniversary. So anyways, cannot believe that I'm about to admit this um, with a, wearing a propeller hat, but I think I'm actually going to DoorDash McDonald's. I have not had McDonald's in like... I can't even, I don't even remember the last time I had it. I don't know, but I literally, this is like my once a year thing, and it like slightly sounds really good, but then part of it doesn't sound good, so like maybe I'm not gonna get it. I don't know, I don't really have food here, and I need to figure out my menu for the week. And Here we are for the day. So I got a huge fluffy rug, um, which I'm excited for, it's an eight by 10. It might not even be really big enough. Um, all those boxes are Ikea, either to take back or to get to my mom, so ignore that, I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm gonna move this here. A lot of this stuff is gonna come over the next few weeks. I think the chairs arrive on Thursday, which will be really exciting. And then this is really gonna look so much more put together. Um, I did my first TikTok of the first part of the transformation, but I'm just getting comfy in here um, because I wanna watch Outer Banks on the big screen. Guys, this is literally the best thing ever. I'm just like so happy. On a very real note, I do this stuff all the time, but I think um, I was listening to like a podcast earlier and I have two things to say one First off, I'm so grateful for you guys because I would never be able to like 
even have the life that I live without you guys, like, my job is like the most incredible thing. I actually love every single thing that I do. I mean, love what I do and love what I get to do. And I'm so unbelievably grateful. And I also get to like help. There's just so much with it. Like I just am so grateful. I think all the time, like how I don't deserve this. Like this just turned out to be the best thing ever from like starting a YouTube channel. Why am I like getting emotional? This is so random. Um, starting a YouTube channel when I was like 15, 16, I had no idea what would come from it. Um, and like I'm just so grateful and like the people I've met like I'm just so unbelievably grateful for my life And I'm very aware of the fact that like obviously a lot of people would like love to be doing this or you know Whatever, and I'm just like so grateful the second thing um, I think is that I think I've just been thinking a lot especially just during quarantine about like what you're rooted in so many like really struggles with anxiety um, I'm like medicated. I have been and you know, whatever but um, in a time like, I think that this time around has shown me how much I've grown because a few years ago, if this would have happened, I would have been losing my mind every single second. Not to say, like, I'm not losing my mind, I am losing my mind, and not to say that anyone who is losing their mind right now, it's for this reason. I just mean for me personally and how I respond and react, like, I feel like I would have gotten so over the top anxious, and maybe I, I feel like I did at the beginning of quarantine, but I would have gotten so over the top anxious and, like, just become like really like, especially with my family, like very irritable. And uh, I don't know, like I just think my identity is so far from being rooted in my job now. Like it's so much bigger than that. And it's like, obviously like for me, it's in my faith and like myself, but I think like, I actually just love who I am and love who I'm becoming. And it's not, um, it doesn't have any correlation with like my job, which I think is really healthy and good so anyways um just been noticing some character development lately just especially in like the way i've like handled things i think in the past few months like i don't know i just feel like i can tell how much i've grown and how much i've matured just from the past few months alone um but yeah that is that um, i'm gonna watch outer banks i'm gonna start that today and i am gonna doordash McDonald's. It's a holiday. I deserve it. Okay. I wonder if I can set up my Apple TV to this because I did finally get guys Oh my gosh, I lost my Apple TV remote for my like new Apple TV We bought this when I was in LA and we were like we're watching Disney Plus and whatever and then I bought it and it arrived two hours later And then I took it to obviously to Dallas when I moved and then I lost the remote So I bought a new remote on Amazon. It came super quick and um, I got a new TV for my room too. So I might use this up here if I can use it in here, I will, but if I can use it upstairs, I will, so. Okay, so I can set up my Apple TV down here, so I will, but the only extension cord I have right now only has one plug, so I'm going to connect my laptop for now. I just messed this up when we started vlogging, but like, this is like as perfect as I can get it to match, which like, I don't really care. I mean, obviously I can flip a little bit, but like, as far as actually covering it, I've pushed the couch back as much as possible with the gym being back here still. So like, I've got to figure out a better way to do this. Does anyone have any good ideas and tips and tricks for me? Cause I really need help. Um, obviously I don't care right now for myself. I can set this up to the best of like my ability for now and I'm good. Um, but I don't want like, obviously when I have people over, I'd rather it be better. Honestly, it is how to be done. This is such a mess. I've just been ripping boxes apart. Today, but it's fine. Okay, bye. I have a new Nespresso, it's very exciting. This is gonna cure my headache problems. I've only ever had one other caffeine headache, but here we are. Guys, the Apple TV is working on the projector. This is incredible. What are we gonna watch? Guys, oh my gosh, it is pitch black. Let's see if I can do a little, oh, oh my gosh, it's now green. This looks, like, oh, this looks like I'm telling you guys scary stories. So, um, it is 8 p.m., Maddie just went home. Um, I've been working on my computer a little bit for the past few hours as we were watching Selling Sunset. Um, my lips are chapped, my least favorite thing ever. Um, I'm gonna start Outer Banks and I might import some footage and just kind of do a little bit of editing I thought I was gonna be at the lake the next three days. So like I don't even have that much of my Next few days to do so I might just like kind of chill a little bit I don't know my my week is gonna be a little bit more relaxed. I think last week was so hectic I got so much done. That's why I didn't vlog because it just wasn't entertaining like I was probably the most productive I've been all of 2020 this week will be chill and I'm looking forward to it so 
it's also a rainy week, so I'm like really excited. It's supposed to rain all week, so it could just be a cozy week at home. Um, anyways, I did connect my Apple TV to the projector. Um, it literally has been incredible, guys. And um, a few of my things are actually gonna come earlier. So I'm now gonna start Outer Banks because I actually have not until now. We are watching Selling Sunset. If you guys haven't seen Selling Sunset, it's basically a reality TV show. I've seen most of it. I've seen like, I think most of the first season. I know season two just came out. So Kevin from This Is Us, his ex-wife is on it. And at this point she's his wife and I just found out they got divorced because I was stalking them while I was watching it. So anyways, I'm now gonna watch Outer Banks. Good morning. Ooh, hello. Um, and then just work on my computer a little bit and just see what I want to do for the next few days Oh, I also made my menu for this week and I did get all my groceries delivered So I'll show you guys what I got when that arrives Okay, I'm showing you guys what I got. Um, I have some more dairy-free um, Yogurt for my breakfast because I feel like my camera quality is just super down in this vlog and like I haven't changed any of my settings So I don't know what's up, but um, almond butter, granola, this is normally morning stuff. Then I have a lot of like Italian sausage, chicken, beef. I'm making a lot of things in my slow cooker. I just ordered tonight that comes on Tuesday. So yeah, I'm making like, lasagna and all this stuff. You guys will see in this week in my life vlog as well as on my TikTok. I have roasted almonds for my salad. I'm going to make the Hollywood Bowl salad again this week. I'm really excited. Some fruit, carrots. I cook with carrots all the time. White mushrooms. These are the wrong mushrooms. That's all they had. Blueberries, crushed I know that I have so much tomato stuff guys, but like I just use it so often when I'm cooking and like this recipe called for a lot of it So I just got a few more just in case um, Literally one sweet potato. I'm confused. That was not what was supposed to happen. Okay um, Purple grapes even though I have some mozzarella parmesan cheese goat cheese onion honey lasagna Kind bars and goldfish just to have as like a random snack, but that is what I have. I'm very very excited to go Load up my pantry for the first time ever. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. All right, guys, so that is it. I'm just going to go downstairs and watch Outer Banks. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and all the fun little house updates and organization. These are always like my favorite vlogs, but I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.